to Sigalene during this World Cup? Because I have to say, I'm I'm sick of it. You're sick of it. Well, you don't have to watch Dan, do you? That's that's, no, that's certainly true. one thing you can do. Yeah. Um, as we say to everyone, listen. I think you're always going to get that at the start of, of the competition. Uh, everybody's making the point. I think one of the problems that, that they've had is the fact, and it's linked to the FA, is why, did, why didn't Kane just wear the armband yeah. and taken the punishment? And then, you know, and I think the, the Germans would have done it. I think everybody would have followed suit. And in the end, FIFA would have had to retreat. So um, there's been a lot of hot air, certainly spoke, hot, hot air spoken about it in, in many different places and many different countries. But look, it, it is what it is now. And I think slowly but surely, it's it's a football that's going to kick us on, isn't it? Even well, it if is. you're not going to watch it. Well, it is. Look, I never said I was personally going to boycott it, uh, but I would no. never personally travel to Qatar. And I, you know, you know I, I, I'm a gay guy. I would never work in Qatar. So I think that's what I have a problem with, Mark, when I see people like Beckham and Neville and Lineker who say that they care about gay people, they care about women's rights. But actually, if they really had an issue, they just wouldn't go. That, that's where I stand on this. Well, I think, yeah, I can fully understand where you're coming from, Dan. But then I would say we probably wouldn't have had any World Cups for the last however many years, would we? Would we have gone to South Africa? No. no. Would we have gone to Brazil? Probably no. But as you know, and everybody knows, uh, the world's not about that, is it? It's, it's all about money. And, you know, it's FIFA and it's, and it's always, always will be. And yeah. they're now talking that maybe Saudi Arabia might get the World Cup after um, <laughs> America. Well, that will happen. After, 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 that will happen. Will, of course it will happen. That will absolutely, absolutely happen. Absolutely, totally. Yeah. 100%. But, but so what do you do? Well, well, no, exactly. But the thing is, Mark, I, 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 I have no problem, though, with all of these people going to cover it, all of these people going to play. I've, I've always said this. I just want them to stop virtue signaling. Do you see what I mean? Because it's so ironic and so hypocritical to be making money from a regime that does these things mm. or visiting the country and then virtue signaling. That's my point. I just want the focus to be on the sport because I completely agree. You wouldn't have World Cups, well, you wouldn't have Olympic Games if, if we started looking at the human rights record of all of all of, all of the countries it, it's hosted in. Right. Well, I, th I think from now on, because obviously we're about to reach the knockout stage, everybody will be going potty about the games. Yeah. So I think okay, well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. What, what, what did you make of last night? Because I know it's one of those old cliches, but it truly was a game of two halves, right? Yeah, well, I think the thing with England is uh, very good against Iran, uh, very ordinary against the USA, very good last night. So we're just hoping at the weekend that they're not very, not, uh, not very good against what Senegal, isn't it, on Sunday? Yeah, Sunday night. So you've got... You've You'll probably get four, at least four days now of no more virtue signalling until we decide what happens on Sunday night and whether England come home or they go through to the next stage of the knockout. And what's your prediction? I think it'll be very sunny on Sunday, that's for certain. Um, I think England <laughs> will win, actually. I, think, I, think <laughs> I just think they've got too many big guns for Senegal and also... Um, the number of people that, that England can bring off the bench, the quality of the players that England can bring off the bench, really the opposition don't have anything like that. So as long as they're in the game, England, I think yeah. they'll win. But now the problem is what team does he pick? Because everybody started to play well again. Yeah, indeed. I mean, would you would you have Foden there? And, and also, I think Southgate is playing for his job, isn't he? I mean, if, no, if, if we were to no. go out now, he'd struggle. Well, I think no. You know what? I think I think if if England went out now, I think he'd <clears throat> I think he'd resign anyway, because I, I I do think that managing England, there's like just a shelf life as much as anything, and I think is he knows that if England go out in the next stage, that he'll say thank you, but no thank you. You know, he's done a really really good job. It's just hopefully hopefully he might at least get them to the final. Um, which which would be fantastic. I mean, the, the country would probably self-combust, but there you go. You'd definitely get no virtue signaling then, though, would you?